And now over to world news. There is a hurricane today that wiped out a bunch of places. Yay! Here I am spinning. And in sports, somebody want to be game. Yay! I'm spinning. Stop spinning! Welcome to MMS News. Now, roll the intro. Today I'll be the guy on the intro. Welcome to Amazing Things. Good welcome, MMS. And good welcome to you, Katie. And good welcome to you, too, Maya. And, and welcome to the one and only MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS, and this one's character trait is respect. Respect means a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Now go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the screen. We can't wait to see what kind of respect our students have here at MMS. Now we go to our first Story of the week, our MMS news story with special guest reporters Channing and Natalia. Hey MMS, Channing and Natalia, you're back, back again, again with the week ahead. On Monday, it's Columbus Day, so nothing. On Tuesday, there will be a Sabbath club at Parkland and Homer Club, Drama Guild, Trojan Super Fan, and Mad Club. There will be a meeting. There will be a volleyball game versus Parkland. On Wednesday, there will be a student support team meeting and a soccer and soccer at Parkland. At, and, and last but not least, pet band. On Thursday, Seven One will be having their field trip, and there will be homework club, drama guild, and comic book club. There will be also a volleyball game. On on Friday, eighth grade will be having their field trip and an early release day. That's, that's all, all for now, now, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Trojan News Center is back again with the update on all the important information to know about our very own MMS. Hello, it's Allie. I'm Mackenzie. Here with Mrs. Schnur to talk about the Battle of the Books. What is the Battle of the Books? Well, Battle of the Books is a reading competition where students can read from a list of 10 books, um, and then you answer questions with the team until we have a winner. Who can be in Battle of the Books? Any of the students in our school can join Battle of the Books. Um, we're looking for teams of up to five people. You can join teams with kids who are in your grade level, or you can join with kids from other grade levels as well. And I've even heard a rumor of a teacher team forming. When is Battle of the Books? Well, the first step is to put your team together. So I have forms in the library that you can use to do that, and I'd like those back by October 19th. On November 1st, we'll release the battle list, um, and that's that list of 10 books. The actual battle will take place in March, right before spring break. Why should people join the Battle of the Books? Oh, Battle of the Books is a lot of fun. It's a great way to read books and talk about books with your friends. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely join. Plus, we're going to have good prizes. Anything else you want the students of MMS to know about the Battle of the Books? Come out and join. We're looking to have a great time. Thank you, Ms. Schnur. Sure. MMS is starting to collect items for our troops. Remember that you can donate items like magazines, books, sunglasses, and more. You can donate these items by putting them in a box in the office. Donate these items by October 18th. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming, coming MMS. MMS. Bye. Bye. We now have a special report from Elaine about an exciting event that took place recently in our very own McHenry. Hello, MMS. My name is Eileen. I can't believe the Queen of Hearts is found. The Queen was found on September 18, 2018, last month at the VFW McHenry, Illinois. The drawing starts at 8 p.m. and the tickets are six for five dollars and ten for twenty dollars. Also, it was it is at VFW, I wish it was my family to it, but no. Another person won the Queen of Hearts. She got 60% of the money out of seven million and something. The card number was 25. Yep, number 25. So that means there'll be bingo on the 
being on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, it will start again on January 8, 2019. Just so you know, it is a card game for adults, not for kids. That's all for me. Bye, MS. Have a good day and a good weekend. Guy Wire is back with another fun craft you can create and use during the amazing global read aloud. Hey, MMS, it's Anna. I'm back with a new DIY this week. This was last week's DIY, and I think it turned out pretty well, but I did find that you should probably be careful with the pins. This week, I'm doing a DIY bookmark. The things you will need are or origami paper or regular printer paper, but you'll have to do an extra step, scissors, decorations, or what I will be using, markers, and glue. If you have printer paper, start by folding the paper like this, then cut off the top. If you have origami paper, start by folding the paper in half. Fold the left and right corner to the center point. Cut off the excess part and cut through the middle so that you get two triangles. Unfold them. You've gotten yourself two squares that will soon turn into two monster bookmarks. Fold the square in half. You'll get a rectangle. Now cut the adjacent two squares from the one you've cut out as shown on the picture. Apply some glue to the inner one and you're done. Well, all that's left to do is to cut some eyes, tongues, teeth, tentacles, horns, and glue them onto your monster. <laughs> well, that's it, Emma. So hope you try this and hope you have a great rest of your day and weekend. Bye! If we bring the music and you bring your ears together, we can make the awesome top 10 for this week. Hey, I'm Libby. And I'm Allie. And we are back with this week's top 10 news. So let's get to it. Number 10, No Brainer by Justin Bieber. You stick out of the crowd, baby, it's a no-brainer. It ain't the hard to choose. Him or me be for real, baby, it's a no-brainer. You got your mind on lose. <laughs> Number nine, back to you by Selena Gomez. I know I'd go back to you. <laughs> check out. Movie Crew Unite! Welcome back, MMS. Hope you had a great week. This week's movie is... Bumblebee. This movie starts off when an 18-year-old Charlie finds an abandoned Volkswagen in a junkyard. When she gets home, she finds out that Bumblebee is no ordinary Volkswagen. He's a Transformer. This movie was directed by Travis Knight. 
and features some act, some of the actors Haley Steenfield, Grace Disley, and Peter Cullen. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait until December 21st until it comes out. Goodbye, MMS. Have a great long weekend. Peace out from the movie crew. <laughs> Hate movies but still want to go to the theater? Check out this week's musical reviews to see what is playing. Hey guys, it's Sophia and Darren here. So today we will be talking about 21 Jump Street. It came out on June, 20, June 7, 2014. 21 Jump Street is a pretty funny musical. Basically, it's about an ordinary student, not for long. Then a girl comes to school, but she is an undercover cop spying for kids selling drugs. Oh. But then she asks the main character and, and asks for drugs, and the boy asks his cousins and asks them to give her the drugs on school grounds. Lesson one. Don't do drugs. Lesson two. Don't ask for drugs. That's all. See you next week. This week's anime is locked in and ready to fire, so sit down and prepare to get your mind blown. What is up, my fellow youths? Welcome back to Anime Insider. Today we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia. In a world where people with superpowers are the norm, the superpowers are also referred to as quirks, Izuki Midoriya has a dream of one day becoming a hero, despite being bullied by his classmates for not having a quirk. After being the only one to try and save his childhood friend, Kazuki Bakugo, from a villain, All Might, the world's greatest hero bestows upon him his own quirk, one for all. The story follows Suzuki's entrance into UA High School, a school that cultivates the next generation of superheroes. As Suzuki and his new friends try to balance their hero training with ordinary school duties, they must face new challenges, including the League of Villains, an, e an evil organization established by All Might, Might's arch enemy, All for One, to destroy all heroes and take complete control of society. The series started in July of 2014 and is still ongoing to this day, while the episodes usually run for about 20 to 30 minutes long. If you have any questions, comments, or anime recommendations, please email me at chewitt897 at d15.org. Love memes and anime? Well, get ready for this week's playlist as they give you the, the jams that go with your favorite anime memes. Hi, I'm Us. Today I will be telling you the top five anime meme songs. Number five is the Blend S opening. Number four is Renai Circulation from Bakuman Monogatari. Number three is Deja Vu from Initial D. Number two is Ayaya from Kiniro Omoizak. Number one is Leak Spin from Bleach. That's all. See you next week. Feeling low on your pop culture fix? Well, don't worry. We got you covered with our very own Pop Culture Insider. Hello, MMS. My name is Gabe, and welcome to Pop Culture Insider. Today, we are going to be looking into one of the largest elements of pop culture, social media. Love it or hate it, social media stands as a huge part of our day-to-day -day lives. Whether you are sharing pictures on Instagram or streaming on Twitch, somehow, some way, you are connected to basically the whole world. But today, we will be talking specifically about arguably the largest, most used social media platform, YouTube. Founded in 2005, the over 10-year-old platform is still going strong, but it has had some serious firestorms caused by creators or those behind YouTube. The self-proclaimed adpocalypse. Long story short, thousands of YouTubers were and are losing their money, and fast. As the adpocalypse still rages, we keep watching videos. This has been the Pop Culture Insider. Have a great day. Make the play, drive a lap, take a break, drink the Gatorade, and watch this week's sports updater. Hello and welcome to
to Sports Center. I'm your host, Lee McClellan. MLB has started the playoffs, so I can't tell you guys about baseball right now. Anyway, let's get started to the other sports around the world. NASCAR's chase for the Monster Energy Cup Series has a very good demolition derby at the first lap of the race. Next week on Sunday at 1 p.m. would be a race around a 6-6-mile oval called Talladega. It is the biggest racetrack on the NASCAR circuit. Also, FC Barcelona is taking Valencia CF kickoff at 1.45 p.m. That's going to wrap it up. <laughs> Get it? That's all for now. Have a good day. Ever wonder about the world's largest gummy bear or the smallest booger ever found? Well, check out this week's world record makers to learn a new record. <laughs> Welcome, MMS, to this week's amazing world record. This week's world record is the highest scores in one inning. This record was set by the White Stockings, also known as the Chicago Cubs. The score was 18 runs in a single inning against the Detroit Wolverines. This record was set on, on September 6, 1883. Also, no, also, the modern day record was 17 runs in a Boston Red Sox game against the Detroit Tigers. The, the record was set on June 18, 1953. That is this week's World Record MMS. See you next week. Remember, MMS, if you have a good team, you could beat this week's World Record. The calendar updater has another holiday that you surely need to buy a card for. These can't be real. I think she makes these up each week. <laughs> You're supposed to whisper it to me. Hey guys, it's Alyssa. I don't have Alex with me today, but besides that, today's topic is Mad Hatter Day, which is on Saturday, October 6, 2018. So some of you guys might know who that is, some of you guys might not. The Mad Hatter is one of the craziest characters on Alice in Wonderland. Some info on him is that Johnny Depp plays him. Weird fact, in seventh grade, Angie and I, I had a script on Alice in Wonderland. I played Alex and Angie played the Mad Hatter. She was good. Okay, so today, today's would you rather question is, would you rather all your shirts be two sizes too big or two sizes too small? Well, that's all for today. Bye, MMS Calendar Girl, signing out. Got a hunger, but no food at home? Don't worry, our very own food critics got you covered. Hello, Hello MMS. We are taking over food critics for this week. I'm Libby. I'm Abby. The restaurant we are doing is Subway. Home, Home of the, the sandwiches. sandwiches. They serve choice of deli meats and meatballs and many choices of your bread. They also have soup. My favorite thing there is sandwiches. My favorite thing there is pizza. Well, that's, well, that's it. it. Bye, MMS. Hey, classy MMS. Have, have a great, great weekend. weekend. Welcome to your moment of Zen.